going on here is basically there's a flaw in the Terminator X when you convert it to E85 in the drop down window where the whole fueling map goes lean and that's what my issue was. So I had to convert the drop down back to gasoline and basically uh, the, the, all the base fuel tables there went back to normal when you got up to temperature. So my good friend Billy Barnhouse was telling me about it. He's got a term, uh, he's got a Holly system and he's a dealer for them and he was telling me to check that. He said, change that back to gasoline and see if that doesn't make a difference. And sure enough, it did. Now I had to change my air fuel around because clearly on gasoline, uh, having the air fuel like it was, was screwing it up and making it way too rich and all that. So you gotta manipulate the numbers. So even though it's showing 10.0 right now, it's actually a lot of point, point or so higher than that in what I'm commanding it. So long story short, there's a flaw in the Terminator X base software uh, when you go drop down to E85, change that to gasoline. And as you can tell, the coolant temp's up to 165 now and everything's working good. I've got to tweak the air fuel a little bit more. Uh, right now it's at like 10, 10 and a half. So I'll keep tweaking that a little bit, but uh, we are definitely much more in the ballpark and our timing's good. Everything looks good. Let's get a little bit of gas. That looks good. settling in around 980 coolant staying about 185 everything looks pretty good on here see how my gauge is working see if I can change it on here so you can see how things are going fuel pressure is 38 looks pretty pretty accurate there it's hot right now so oil pressure is about 26 pounds of idle and I rev it up a little bit it goes up 50 pounds Outer air control's working. First fan's on, second fan's not. Coolant's running 184 on the screen. You see how the timing's moving around. Auto air. Duty cycle's like 0.5%. You can see it's closed loop and it's learning. So, uh, it's been running for a good few minutes now, and you can tell everything's working. It's uh, running, it's doing fine. So I even drove it for a while in different gears, letting it learn at different RPM. So the only thing is get off the lift and uh, go drive it. Good morning. Well, big day today. Feel like I got it all tidied up last night and ready. So today is Saturday. Saturday the 19th and by the forecast it's going to be in the 30s this morning and 40s by lunchtime but no rain in sight so I decided you know what for the first maiden voyage on the holly let's just drive it all the way to work you know why not let's just roll the dice let's take it to work so it's nasty it's dirty I've not driven it literally last time I drove it was months ago I drove it in here. I plan to drive it that Saturday to work and Dow's going to clean it up. So it's still nasty. It's nasty from being in here and me working on it, but that's okay. I've not even mounted the computer in it yet. It's still in the floorboard. I haven't tied up the wires or nothing on it. Um, all that's down in there to be fixed and determine how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> but for now, I've got the tire pressure adjusted in all four tires. I changed the oil again last night. So it's got fresh oil in it. Make sure that's topped off, check the water level, and that's good to go. Everything is set and ready. It's nice just to fire it up, and we're going to drive it to work.
are back in the TT Salee. Looks like everything's doing good. All right. So let's see if we can make it to work. Look at all those gauges working though. That's what I'm talking about. fill up on the 85 well looky who made it to work I'm at work Saturday morning check it out with no incident made it here no problem did find some holes in the in the tune though a little bit when I go to rev it and take off in first gears it's, it's kind of lean and certain rpms a little lean so I had to adjust that a little bit, but the drivability is spot on. It drives great. The cold start, I got to mess with that. The idle's a little low at cold start, but then the idle's kind of high once it's warm. So you got to tweak that a little bit, but you know, hey, for not knowing what I'm doing, it's not bad at all. I'm sure I got to adjust the air fuel cause on gasoline and it's around 10, 9.8 to 10.2 right now. So that might be a little fat. I got to go look it up what Lambda is and, probably tune it based on what lambda is instead of air fuel since it's on gasoline to get the right numbers but for now the car made it here no problems not overheating actually ran about 178 degrees between 178 and 180 all the way here so new thermostat water pump everything's working really well really happy how the car is coming around camera and drive a stick ship by the way with two hands. <laughs> 